31 year old Luis Castillo on the hill for the Mariners. He's familiar to the Cubs. Longtime Cincinnati Red, six foot two, 200 pounds. What is unfamiliar is the record. 0 and 3 through three games this season, Coombe with an ERA of nearly seven. Last night, the only time all season that Hap has not reached base on either a hit or a walk. He had reached in each of the first 13 games, so let's see if he can start a new streak today. The windup and the 0-2 pitch and a swing and a miss, and he's got it with a slider. He strikes out Hap to start off the ball game this afternoon. Three pitches and strike on number one for Luis, and you know he's fired up to get things turned around. Say a homered last night. He's hitting 300 on the trip, six for 20. Say a swings, line drive, base hit in the left center field. This is going to roll all the way to the track. Suzuki on his way to second base gets there standing up. A one out double for Saya and the Cubs. Cody Bellinger at the plate. Castillo looks at second. Little dribbler up along first. That's going to be a tough play, and they throw the ball away. And rounding third alertly and scoring is Seiya Suzuki. Castillo didn't want to hit Bellinger in the back with the throw, so he overcompensated, threw it to the inside of the diamond, and it got away from France. And the Cubs get on the board one to nothing here in the first. Morrell pops this up. Polanco at the cut of the grass for out number two. So an error on Castillo allows the game's first run to score. Oh, one pitch on the way to Swanson. Swinging a ground ball to third. Charging Rojas has it. The cut of the grass to throw wide to first. Taken by France. He gets the tag on the helmet of Swanson, and that's going to retire the side. But the Cubs get one run unearned, and we go to the bottom of the first. It's the Cubs one, and the Mariners coming up. 26 year old right hander Javier Assad on the mound for the Cubs as we get set for the bottom half of the first inning here in Seattle. Assad has been lights out this season. Two games, a record of 1-0, 1.64 the ERA, 11 innings of work. J.P. Crawford leading things off for the Mariners. Crawford swings and drills one deep to right center. Suzuki, I should say Talkman giving chase. He's under it and makes the catch. Boy, that ball did not travel as far as I thought it was going <laughs> to go. Mean? The batter is Mitch Hanniger. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with the fastball. Two away. Jorge Polanco batting. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with the cut fastball. The Mariners go down in order in the first. After one. Cubs one. Mariners nothing. Push it first. One down. Cubs lead one to nothing. And Mike Talkman coming up. Punches this deep out to left field. Canzone on the track near the wall. And he holds on to make the catch. A ramrod in left. Hopefully he's okay. He slammed his shoulder into the wall. And he is slow to get up. Just a great play. Concentrating on catching the baseball. No fear of the wall at all. So many times when you hit the wall that hard, the ball will jar out of your glove, but he was able to hold on to it somehow. Now, just superb effort and execution by Dom Canzone and a remarkable ability to hold on to the ball through the contact and collision, and hopefully this is nothing too serious. Two down here in the top of the second. The Cubs with a 1-0 lead over the Mariners. Michael Bush at first, and the batter is Jan Gomes, the number nine hitter in the Cubs order. Gomes lines one off the glove of the third baseman, Rojas. It's down the left field line. And give Jan Gomes a single. It was a diving attempt by Rojas at a ball scorched along the line. So here's Ian Happ with men at first and second and two away for the Cubs in the top of the second. The stretch and the 2 2 pitch, swinging a fly ball into shallow left center field over is Luke Rayleigh. He's there in the run. He makes the catch and Castile works himself out of a jam. No runs, two hits, and two left on. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, Dom Canzone is all right after the collision. After two, it's the Cubs with a 1 0 lead. Say it doubled in the first and scored a run on a throwing error by Castillo swing it away on a high fastball and coming up empty second strikeout for Luis Castillo Cody Bellinger infield base hit his last time up chased it on a backdoor slider and Cody Bellinger strikes out of the third Christopher Morrell stands in there's the 2 trying to put him away and he does a sweeping breaking ball got him Luis with the Castillo flex one two three all K's all swinging after three innings of play it's the Cubs one Seattle nothing Grounded out to third in the first. Swanson waits for the 0-2. Line drive, base hit down the left field line. This will roll all the way to the corner. Swanson cruises into second base with a stand-up double to lead off the Cubs half of the fourth. So that'll bring up red-hot Michael Bush. He singled in the second. Bush drives one in the air, deep right center. Back goes Hanniger. It's got a chance. Gone. 
long gone. In fact, you can get out the tape measure from Michael Bush. He has now homered in four consecutive games, and the Cubs lead three to nothing. Man, every day this guy has delivered. Sitting on the changeup from Castile, maybe his best weapon against left handed hitters, but Bush was all over it. Middle four, it's the Cubs with a 3 0 lead over Seattle. Cubs trying to win a road series for the first time this season, and they've led all day today after scoring an unearned run in the first, thanks to some superb pitching by Javier Assad. Five innings, two hits allowed. There you go. J.P. Crawford dunks in a base hit. One on base runner for the Mariners. Mitch Hanniger at the plate. Crawford with good speed at first. Crawford bluffs going. The pitch is swung on and missed. Strike three. Got him with a sinking fastball. Two away. Six punch outs in the game now for Assad. Five and two thirds innings. He has been an outstanding performance so far. See if he can finish up the sixth inning. Here's Jorge Polanco. Two outs and J.P. Crawford. Not much of a lead at first. Here's the 1-0. Pitch to Polenko. Swung on high drive right field. That is looking good. Carry, baby. Carry. Goodbye. Home run, Jorge Polanco. First home run in this building is a Mariner. The Mariners are on the board. We got a 3-2 Chicago lead. Deep right center field. That baby carried a long way out of here. It was just going to take one big swing to get the Mariners right back in this game. Now down by one. It was a cutter out over the plate, and Polanco didn't miss it. That'll do it. They chase the side here in the sixth, and that's a big two-out, two-run homer. Right-hander Yancy Almonte is the new pitcher for the Cubs. He takes over for Javier Assad with two down here at the bottom of the sixth inning. France digs in. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with a sweeping hook, and that ends the sixth inning. Bottom of the seventh, we go stretch time in the home seventh. It's the Cubs three and the Mariners two. Double play still in order. Lighter the right-hander on the hill. Facing another left handed batter, this time in Luke Rayleigh. The center fielder is 0 for 2. High leg kick and pitch. A one hopper ripped to Horner, fielded at second. He throws to Swanson for one on the first double play. You called it, Coom. Inning over. Mark Leiter Jr. does the job again. After seven, it's the Cubs with a 3 to 2 lead over Seattle. They're now loaded for Seattle with just one away and the cleanup man, Ty France, do up. He's also a double play candidate. If you can get him to hook a ground ball at Christopher Ed Swanson, you got a chance to turn a pair. Bouncing ball up the middle. It is fielded by Swanson. Steps on the back for one. Throw to first. In turn. Double play. Hector Neris works into and out of a huge jam in the eighth. We head to the ninth with the Cubs up three to two in Seattle. The Mariners get the tying run on first. Let's see if they use a pinch runner for Raleigh. They will. Luke Rayleigh is the batter. Julio Rodriguez the runner at first. So the tying run is on base for Seattle with two down in the bottom of the ninth. Throw to first. Oh, just diving back in safely, Rodriguez. Man, that was close. They had him at first base. I, they're still looking. Council's looking at this. And the Cubs are going to challenge. Yeah, I thought so. They, Rodriguez was going towards second base. And this tag, I think they got him. I think the game is over. This is going to end the ball game. Boy, that's close. Way too close to be the third out of the ball game when you're the tying run. win a 3 2 victory over the Mariners here in Seattle. It's the first time that the Cubs have taken a road series since late August of last season in Pittsburgh. They win two of three against the Mariners.